Uh, and now the award will be given for Assange to Mrs. Uh, May Reed Maguire. She's the Peace Nobel Prize of 76 from Ireland. Uh, good evening, everyone. I consider it the greatest honor to sit here and to receive the prize on behalf of my good friend Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Julian Assange, for all of us, challenges us at the deepest level to ask the question, in conscience, is this right or wrong? I am not an international lawyer, but I am a human being who tries to look at a situation and say, is it right or is it wrong? And in conscience, can I do it? Julian Assange asked that question himself, and he came up with, no, I cannot go along with this policies, I have to speak out. He was deeply aware that when he spoke out, his world would be shattered and he would suffer deeply. And we have examples tonight of people who had the courage to speak out and paid for it with their lives. But Julian Assange will be remembered long after many of us have faded because people will tell the story of Assange, the whistleblower, the publisher, who called and spoke out against killing and war and government policies which were destroying children and families in their home. Snowden who told us that the American government was carrying out surveillance around the world and here in your European parliaments. And we should wake it up because surveillance of every single one of us is going on today by the American government and others. What does surveillance mean? Let Julian Assange tell you what surveillance means. It means that when the American government have details on all European countries and what makes your economies work, they don't need to put boots on the ground and armies. They've become superfluous. They have the information on your governments and power is powerful. They can take down governments by manipulating and uh, their infrastructure. We witnessed this in three visits to Syria when what was happening in Syria was not what the Western media were telling us about. What was happening in Syria was a training, a funding of of mercenaries from outside Western governments to take down an elected executive, an elected government. We are witnessing in our world today something that if we do not waken up, we will never turn it back. Julian Assange told us the Iraqi war, what happened? The, uh, the Afghanistan war, Libyan war? What's the next country to be taken down by the almighty governments of America and NATO if they don't do their bidding? Julian Assange refused to do their bidding, as did Chelsea Manning, now in solitary confinement in an American prison because she won't testify against Julian Assange and tell lies tonight. Chelsea Manning might never see the light of day again out of an American prison. So we are privileged to have freedom, but we must 
pay the price of that freedom by telling the truth and offending people like Chelsea Manning, like Julian Assange, like Snowden. One short story. You see, the Western media has demonized Julian Assange, and I'm deeply ashamed that they would stoop into the gutter to talk about a good man and his cat and him not being clean enough. What kind of media have we got? And that is the, that is the limit of their intellectual thinking. They can't think and see the dangers ahead of us for war. We're going to war if this doesn't turn around and stop. But let me tell you about somebody who regards Assange as a hero. When we were in Kabul and we went to the airport with the young the young Afghani peace activists, and we told them, we're going to London to visit Julia Assange in, this, in the uh, embassy. We've nomin we visited him twice. I've nominated him for the Nobel Prize, because in my eyes, he's a real <coughs> hero, speaking against war and destruction. And do you know what the little Afghani kids said to us? We love Julian Assange. And WikiLeaks, he told the truth of what's happening to save us here. And they had kids who died up in the Kabul mountains, gathering wood to light fires because they're hungry and being assassinated on the hillside with drones from NATO and America, many of our governments. What kind of a world are we creating where we drone kids in, on the mountains gathering wood? And they said, let us send a message to Julian Assange. We love him. He's our hero. And they wrote a letter. And we took it to London to Julian Assange and a lovely photograph of Kabul where the sun shines. And Julian hasn't seen the sun shine in eight years. And they took it. We took it. And he just loved that. We must demand no extradition for Julian Assange out of London. With the UN Committee on Arbitrary Detention, they said, the UN, Assange is innocent. He must be released immediately by the UK government and given compensation by the UK government and the Spanish and the, the Swedish government who have been cards in the whole situation. And he must be reimbursed and released. And the Australian government, instead of defending their citizen, have only last year acknowledged and given him a passport. What does that mean to us today that countries cannot protect their citizens? So please, let you as a European Parliament, and I congratulate you on this great award and this great initiative. We need the whistleblowers, we need the truth tellers. But I hope the European Parliament will create such an award, and I hope the European Parliament and Europe, who's been passive in the whole Julian Assange matter, not a word practically from Europe, who are supposed to be defending are human rights as ordinary men and women in the world. Where is your voice? So I hope the European Parliament will take serious its responsibility to uphold international human rights and law, which the UK government is denying. And I hope the UK government will not let Assange out of London, but rather give the man his truly earned freedom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.